Hello, my name is Dr. Maria Levy from Israel. I'm the chair of KMGN 2022, and I want to speak with you today about the ISO 3041 Implementation Toolbox. So let's start step by step. First of all, the first question any organization may ask themselves is why should they be interested in standards at all and the ISO 3041 standard specifically? So there are several reasons. First of all, uh, people, organizations want standards because they are required to have standards because there's a market demand or regulation demand. And that would be a real reason why organizations will step forward looking for some standards, trying to implement them. There are additional reasons. We see organizations are trying to seek for uh, known standards, understanding them and certify, uh, certific mm -hmm. uh, having certifications in order to demonstrate their KM excellence. Because the ISO KM standard is built to check if you are excellent in knowledge management. And if you have a certification, you can prove to all of the world that here, you really are an excellent uh, on knowledge management, as you all may have always thought, but now everyone can, can know and you have a real proof. The third reason is that if you're not that excellent, the standard can help you to benchmark your maturity, the maturity of your existing CAM program, and of course, when you are uh, benchmarking this maturity, you can get to the next stage, which is understanding what, where are your gaps and what is the path to your KM excellence. So these are several reasons why organizations should be interested in standards at all, and specifically in the KM standard ISO 3041. When we go into the standard, there are two parts to the standard the management part and the knowledge part. The management part are chapters and paragraphs that we will see again and again in all the ISO management standards. So people, organizations that are familiar already with ISO standard will find it natural, will find it very easy to go into the 3041 standard. However, there are several, uh, several chapters and several paragraphs that deal specifically with how to do KM excellence. And the toolbox that we are describing in a few minutes that we have built in KMGN helps organizations to really understand the standard, to implement it, and to get certified by it. So what does it include? The structure you see, that you see here defines the content of the standard because first of all, it speaks about the organization issues, the expectations and needs of the organization, its risks and opportunities. Always the business itself is oriented to what, it, what are the uh, open issues, what are the expectations and needs, risks and opportunities, and all the, st uh, and the knowledge management, of course, should address these be built, designed in respect to these, and help the help uh, the organization address them. So, when we understand this, we can understand that when you go and now start to think about the standard in the organization, you have to decide what the scope is. Is it the whole organization? Only a division, a specific unit? You have to design your policy to define your objectives. And then there are three main chapters that check the level of excellence with in three different perspectives. That, of course, because there are different perspectives that look at the same activities, give a coverage of things and checking that these KM activities are really, that really demonstrate excellence. First of all, they look at the development life cycle. Are things done one after the other? starting with knowledge development and ending with knowledge being obsolete and deleted or archived and all what is between. Second angle, second perspective, it tests if you can demonstrate that you deal with all kinds of types of knowledge transformation as we're able to see in the second model. 
And the third thing is that these knowledge management activities are really covered with different enablers, ensuring that they are done holistic and not only technically. Beneath all of these, we have to ensure that we have that we develop, that we help, that we nurture, that we help the knowledge management culture evolve and develop. Of course, we are always looking for continuing, not only building a knowledge management system, but also improving it. And we should seek and be sure that we have leadership, roles, and operation. So that's the standard in a nutshell. What did we do with this toolbox? The toolbox was built by a KMGN team named the ISO 3041 Implementation Project. That These were the main part, uh, members people from Australia, from Pakistan, from Iran, from France, from Thailand, from Israel, from India, India, from Jordan, Indonesia, and several additional countries, people coming in and out, helping us do the job. What, would we, what did we do? We've built a toolbox. One toolbox, including four toolkits with elements that can help any organization implement KA, the KM ISO 3041 standard, much easier, much faster, much better. So A, a starter's kit, including presentations, videos, explaining, given orientation, what the standard is. B, a journey toolkit, helping organizations that already have a KM uh, program to find the compass, to benchmark themselves and find the path to excellence. We will explain each and each of these toolkits in the coming slides. The third is an advanced toolkit, a toolkit that helps organizations that already have a very excellent, experienced knowledge management program to translate it into the ISO world, into the ISO wording, into the terms of knowledge of the ISO standard, and very fast get ready for certification. And the last toolkit, resources, all kinds of lists and aids that can end, help any of these organizations on their journey to knowledge, to the ISO standard. So we'll go one to, by one. Let's start with the Stardust Toolkit. The Stardust Toolkit is mainly uh, prepared for organizations who have no knowledge regarding the ISO standard. It is aimed to give orientation, to explain part after part, chapter after chapter, paragraph after paragraph, what is the essence of this ISO standard. It has over 10 presentations and videos explaining what the standard is all about in our knowledge management worlds, in terms that we as knowledge managers really know, are experienced with, understand. Where's the two placed? On the YouTube channel of KMGN. The second one has to deal with the journey kit. The journey kit is a kit for those organizations who already have a KM program in some level, more, more advanced, less advanced, and A, they want to benchmark oneself to others, see where they're standing, and B, they are looking for the campus, for the for compass. They're looking how to thrive, how to get KM excellence, how to get better, better, and better, using the experience, the thoughts, the ideas that the business KM leaders have written in the KM standard. And really, the ISO 3041 standard was designed by 15 or 20 experts of knowledge management worldwide, taking them all together, putting in them in one world, in one room, sitting again and again, year after year for something between two and three years and designing the way to thrive to knowledge management excellence. What does the tool include? A brief explaining it, a questionnaire on which organizations can help themselves benchmark them, uh, they can benchmark themselves through an evaluation form, where they collect the results, 
a compass leader that helps him understand the big pillars, the main pillars. Where do they stand? Where are they weak? And where are they strong? And a work plan template so they can help themselves, prepare themselves toward two, three years from now, getting be better and better towards KM excellence. This is the, placed on the KMGN website. And the third toolkit is an advanced toolkit, helping organizations that already have an excellent KM program. And they are considering ISO certification to do this transit very easily, very fast, because maybe they are not familiar with the ISO standard, but they have all the ingredients. So we are helping him, them here. We're giving them a brief and we're giving them templates that can help them prepare documents in order to certify themselves to the KA to the ISO 3041 standard. We are mapping the paragraphs of the standard into these documents. And if the organization really has an advanced program that's uh, connected to the organizational needs, rather easily help itself build these five uh, uh, documents, add some, uh, some records demonstrating their doing and prepare themselves towards certification. Again, this advanced kit is on our KMGN website. Also the resources kit is uh, placed there. What does that include? So first of all, it's prepared it's aimed for organizations that are learning or implementing the ISO standard. They want to succeed with ISO 3041 implementation. So they want to know what other organizations that maybe are similar to them worldwide have already implemented it. it. Because maybe if you see that another construction company has already implemented 3041, it's easy for you to go to your organization if you are the same type and say, hey, we also want it. We're not the first ones in this organ in this. Uh, industry to, uh, to implement it. Maybe it's easier for you to address these people who already had gone through this journey if they are the same industry as you and ask them for help, contact them, consult them. We include here all kinds of intro videos that can be found on the internet. We collect them together. So if you want to see it from different worldwide leaders explaining the issue, there are a lot of out, uh, out there on the internet, there are loud, a lot of free videos. So we gathered them into one uh, group. We have another list of all kinds of translation, uh, translations of ISO because there are formal translations to Persian and to French and to Hebrew and to mm -hmm. Russian. And there are several additional ones on the way. And we added also free materials that can help anyone on his journey in order to succeed in this ISO 3041 implementation. So what are we asking from you? We are handing you here this implementation toolbox built by the KMGN network, the team that we introduced you to. We're asking you, please use the toolbox. Implement the standard. It helps organizations thrive to KM excellence. And while you're doing it, Please reshare these materials with others. Tell them about it. It's free for use. Everyone can use it because we are all aiming for more KM, better KM all over the world. And you can help us. So please do it.